Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Over. Yeah. Yeah. Lions on three. One, two, three, Lions. U16 OSFL football from the Jake, the hometown Cambridge Lions back on home field on Saturday afternoon. The Lions would kick off with the Oakville Titans. The Lions, hungry for the win, looking to take out the Titans as we move towards playoffs. Jumping into the action and it's the Lions defense coming out hungry. The Lions break the line. Tyler Hardy and Matthew Mallman track down the QB and take him down for a sack. And the Lions would force a punt. On that punt and it's a solid return from Bobby Chiliganis. He receives the starts downfield. Bobby cuts left and straddles the sideline. Aiden Monroe gets a piece of him and pushes him out at the Titans 25. A good start for the Lions on defense and later in the quarter they keep the pressure up. Ashton Phillips hunts down the Titans QB and takes him to the dirt so the Lions would force a safety. The Lions get the ball back and here comes the Cambridge offense. Charlie Peterson sends a pass to the middle. Marlo Griffiths is up and he comes down with the ball. That play would lead to another safety so it's 4-0 Cambridge after the first quarter. Jumping to the second quarter now and it's more from the Lions defense. Kyle Asman reads the play and Kyle picks it off. So the Lions get the ball to Titans 40. The Titans would turn the ball over, however, and how about Dante Robertson in the middle? He's got the reception, and that's good for an Oakville first down. Later on that same possession, and look out for the Lions. Tyler Hardy and Kyle Asman force the fumble. Calvin Sock picks it up and charges back the other way. Aiden Monroe stops the touchdown, but the Lions set up the score with 50 seconds left on the clock. The Lions concede a penalty, so it would need to be big from Charlie Peterson. He's got time and space, and he spots out Darian Coates Cameron in the middle, and Darian's in no man's land. That's the first touchdown of the game for Coates Cameron, and the Lions take an 11-0 lead right before the half. Still in the second quarter, now the Lions kicking off, and as the Titans looking to answer right back, Aiden Trinka receives, and Aiden looks for a hole in the middle. It's some fancy footwork from Trinka, and Aiden breaks into open field. Logan Todorov, the last man back for the Lions, takes off after Trinka, and Logan takes him out with a clutch tackle at the Lions 12-yard line. The Lions needing a stop, and it's some good work from Ryan Rayner. He tracks down the runner and takes him down, and the Lions would hold to the half. Jumping to the third quarter, still 11-0 Lions, Cambridge with the ball looking for more. William Stowars is in the middle, and he intercepts the pass. So the Titans get the ball back. The Lions defense would force another punt and watch the punt return. Faraz Latif picks it up with time and space, and Faraz takes off right. It's a good stutter step, and Latif is moving. Faraz takes it into the middle before Aiden Moreau cuts him off and takes him down at the Titans 15. Following play, the Lions would give it to Trayvon Lewis Wilson. Trayvon's good for a first down, and the Lions move to first and goal. And here on second down, and how about Golden Hands Griffiths in the end zone? Marlo Griffiths leaps over the defense and makes the catch. That's a beauty play from Marlow, and the Lions take an 18-0 lead. A nice catch from Marlow, but he was just getting started. Here in the fourth quarter now, and watch the end zone. Marlow Griffiths diving, and he's got the ball! What a catch from Marlow Griffiths! Let's watch that again. That's your highlight of the week, and it's 25-0 Lions. The Lions in control now, and how about a pick six to end it? It's a hard pass to the middle, and the ball pops out. Jeffrey Collins grabs it out of the air. Jeff turns towards the end zone, and he's in there. That touchdown makes it 32-0 Lions, and that's where this one would end. So a great performance from the Lions on defense as they shut out the Titans and take it. This one ending by a final score of 32-0 on Saturday afternoon.